So I found this plugin called StageWise. They allow you to do very granular UI updates and changes with cursor by communicating and selecting specific UI elements that you want to make changes. Because quite often, when you use cursor to implement UI applications, it will get you to 80% of what you want. But they're just like last 10 to 20% of UI that didn't look right and you want to make changes. And those kind of granular changes are often not that easy. What StageWise does is that it allows you to select very specific UI elements directly in browser and communicate those elements to cursor very effectively. Here is how you can set up. So we can go to cursor extension, search for StageWise and you should be able to just install the extension here directly. Once installed, you can open cursor in any existing web project. And all you need to do, is just do command shift P and search for stage wise. And it will have this auto setup stage wise toolbar option. If you click on that, it should trigger a message in the chat on the right side where it will start setting up stage wise properly in your existing project. So it will automatically look at package to understand, did you build the whole web app in Next.js or React and use the right package and set up. And once it's done, you can accept. And now if you run this web project at the bottom, you will see this floating bar and you can just click on that. And then you will be able to choose any UI elements on the screen. So I can select this button or I can select multiple button as well if I want and give it prompt, make all buttons border radio larger, let's say. And if I send it on the right side, you can see it will automatically trigger a message in cursor. Inside this message, it has special prompt. It will include specific prompt that you just put in, the URL as well as detailed information of the UI elements that you selected. So if I accept it, and now you can see all the buttons are fully rounded now. And the cool part of using StageWise is because it is communicated very clearly, specific div element as well as relevant class. Then when it makes change, it will actually make global change across all the similar elements instead of just changing one specific elements. And if you want, you can also select multiple, which is really useful. And you can also do a bit more like sophisticated change that would be a bit difficult to communicate. For example, I can choose this show more button as well as space here where it is used to show the labels and give it a prompt. I want to make sure text and show more button are in line on the same row where text on the left and show more button on the right. And now you can see that it is on the same row, but I want it to be like right aligned. So I can choose this thing again and give a prompt. This weights should be 100%. So show more button is like right side floating. So now you can see that show more button is on the right side and the, the tag is on the left. So this example of how can you use stage wise to do this UI fine tuning very easily. There are more cool examples on their website where you can like do a bit more sophisticated changes on the UI by selecting those items and convert them into like accordion or change your tables label into a different color very easily and accurately. And what I saw really cool is how they implement this interaction that directly send message inside the cursor. This kind of achieves some really interesting UX that I didn't think of before. And I'm sure this is just like starting point of stage wise plugin. Uh, there are probably more functionalities I imagine they were adding. So this is just one example of how can you use uh, tools like stage wise to fine tune the UI further. If you're interested, you can join AI Builder Club where I share advanced tips and tricks about AI codings and building production ready large language model application from either myself and other industry experts. And we also provide tools like SAS Launch Kit as well as Tanx Coder that will help you generate PRD and cursor rules. So if you're interested, feel free to join AI Builder Club. Thank you and I'll see you next time.